Hey there, welcome to your guided meditation for the new moon in Aries on Sunday, April 15th, 2018. So this new moon is in the sign of Aries, but first uh, we need to acknowledge that the new moon is a time of fresh starts. It's a time of initiation. It's a time of feeling like there's something new, like there is some change coming or some new adventure that you're embarking upon. And with that newness, there's also a feeling of uncertainty, literal uncertainty, not knowing um, exactly what that's going to look like, or just having like this really intangible feeling of something new coming into effect. Uh, so that's very normal. And uh, the other part of this is that this new moon is in the sign of Aries. And so Aries is about uh, embracing the warrior energy. So being the warrior, having uh, the spirit of the warrior, that initiation, the courage, the, the ability to go into conflict regardless of knowing whether the outcome is going to be uh, scary or beneficial or not so beneficial or whatever it is, uh, the, that taking your heart into everything without knowing the outcome is very much Aries territory. And uh, the other piece of this is that this new moon is also conjunct the planet Uranus. And so that brings in a certain element of uh, things changing, uh, changing the status quo, and um, something new opening up as well. So let's uh, finally get into it, a guided meditation specifically for all of this energy. So find yourself in a comfortable place. Close your eyes. and relax. Feel your entire body becoming more dense, heavy, and weighted into the ground or into your seat. Imagine that your body is dropping an anchor into the ground in the way that a ship drops an anchor when it has reached its port. Even if just for a few minutes here with me, uh, you briefly have reached a point of stillness. And so imagine that your anchor from your body is dropping not just down to the ground, but all the way down to the very center of the earth. To stabilize you. And as your anchor drops down through all of the soil and the rock beds and moves through the fluid parts of the earth down to the very core, there's this strong connection. And you feel a solid foundation from the center of the earth that's supporting you. And this in turn lets you relax your body even more. So you feel your legs relax. Feel your hips relax. Feel your belly relax. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. And relax 
relax your eyes. Feel everything in your entire body soft, relaxed, yet aware. You're so incredibly relaxed in this moment, but you're also very aware of the sensations that are coming in through your body. sense of temperature, the sounds, and the sensations that are coming from the inside of you as well in the form of thoughts and emotions. And that anchoring connection that you created with the earth allows you to take everything in while remaining still and relaxed. And then imagine that you are on a hilltop and you're on this hilltop that overlooks a field. It's a beautiful day. You feel optimistic and you can feel the sunshine and light breeze on you. As you stand at this hilltop, imagine down in the valley there is something that you're fighting for, something that you're fighting against. Whatever it is, imagine that there is an opponent down there in the valley. And so uh, we're using our imagination here. So just notice what instinctively comes to mind. Is it um, one individual? Is it an army? Are they um, well equipped? Are they scary? Or do you feel like you could take them if you really needed to? Uh, I want you to flesh out as much detail. What do, what does this opponent look like? Maybe it's even an animal or a mystical kind of energy that doesn't have a face. Maybe it's literal people from a certain time period. Just notice what comes to you and I want you to imagine this opponent or this conflict down in the valley. And then bring your right hand to your heart. Breathe into your chest. Feel your hand moving. Bring your left palm to your heart. Breathe into your chest. Feel your heart beating. And connect with the part of your heart that is the warrior, that is empowered by this energy to fight righteously, courageously, and in a most fair and just way.
And as you stand on this hilltop and you view this opponent down in the valley, ask your heart, what is the most appropriate action? Do you feel a sense of excitement to go down and to do ah, a victorious battle with this enemy, with this opponent? Is your heart telling you that nonviolence is the better route? What does that look like? And so this is so important to ask because different situations require different things of us. Sometimes we need to fight. Sometimes we need to stand up for what it is that we believe in. Sometimes we need to walk away. And so I just want you to notice when you bring this image of a battle, of a conflict into your mind, what feels most appropriate at this point in time? There is no right answer. It's very personal to you and what's happening in your life right now. Take a deep breath in and out. In through your nose, out through your mouth again. Out. And one last time. And release. Imagine that there's a waterfall of light pouring down on you to cleanse, clear, and restore your energy. Take a big stretch. Give yourself a hug. And open your eyes when you feel ready. Good. Uh, so it sometimes helps to journal the, the visions and the, the things that came to you during your time in meditation. Um, I, as always, I encourage you to take your time moving back into the, the material world because your brain waves literally change. And so it's nice to have a little bit of at least a few minutes of integration time. Uh, so I'm wishing you a wonderful new moon and a lovely whole next lunar cycle. If you want to find out more about the, the astrology of this coming week and how to use that, you can find that on my YouTube channel under Neo Feminine Astrology. And if you like this kind of guided meditation and you want more of these, you can join my meditation membership. I'll have information uh, in the description box about that. You can go to patreon.com, Neofeminine Astrology. Uh, and then, of course, if you are interested in working with me one on one, you can find out more about that at neofeminintv.fireside.fm. So uh, wishing you a super lovely new moon, lovely week ahead, and I will talk to you soon. Namaste.